Welcome everyone to TNO, the last days of Europe. I'm your host, Mr. Mokulov, and right now we're playing as Free Indonesia. Now, I have played as Indonesia, but now we're going to, and I've done and completed the Civil War as a regular Indonesia, but how about Free Indonesia? Now, we have a little decision here, which we have the Cell Command. If you like to read about this, please go right ahead. But we're going to try our best to win the war, hopefully maybe with some Allied support or oh, offense support, but old foes, new friends. I would like to do this so that we can get some... Uh, uh, together for victory, which gives us more division attack on defense. Our core territories, which would be really nice. Or the international strategy, the OFL would be really nice. Um, I think we might want to race to maybe get some OFN support, maybe, though. The international stage. Is it, it is certainly possible to win the war alone, but why well, should we? There are countless nations around the world, some more powerful than others, and engage in their own less violent conflicts, yet united in one thing, hatred for the Japanese. The Americans, Germans, the Indians, and even some members of the co-prosperity sphere desire nothing more than the defeat and humiliation of the Japanese Empire. They are willing to provide us with guns, advisors, and equipment. Anything we ask, just as long as we make good on our promise to undermine the rising sun. Cool. And I've not done anything yet. And to do this whole cell stuff, you need political power for this. A few million dollars. And allows us to smuggle guns to the cells in certain locations. So, and... Let's let some time go on. We are trying to attack here. We're probably not going to be winning here. That's okay. We have multi fronts all across. Oh boy, that's just not good. You hold then. Uh, you go this way. You keep these guys in place. These guys hopefully will die. Did uh, you guys win there? You might be able to win there. Um, oh, that is so not good. So not good. We don't get cut off there, so you gotta wait. Help these guys out down there. And oh boy. Nice. Kind of hang out. Can you get to. If you can do that, that'd be really good. Um, can you go that way? Cut these guys off. That'd be really good. We want to. We have to kill these guys off. We have to. If we can't win, we're, we're we're screwed. We're literally screwed if we can't move here. Um. Hmm. However, stop attacking. Let them attack us. And I'm gonna move some soldiers down here. Actually, we'll take the marines. Take that one and this one. Uh, there you go. Come on. There we go. Come over here, we gotta take that tile, because these soldiers will die here if we don't do anything about it, so... You guys kill them off here. Can you take that at all? No, you cannot. Just hang out then. Just hang out. It's totally okay. There's a lot of red, though. Oh, boy. A lot of red. I don't like all this red, though. It is no bueno. Okay, that really sucks. Yeah, this is this is really gonna suck. Oh, boy. You guys are gonna help out up there. Um, You guys gotta deal with that. These guys have been encircled, which is good. Keep them in place. Uh, hopefully we can win up here and then divert some soldiers around. Oh, that's not good right here. That's not good. I'm not sure where you guys are headed. Go up there, maybe. Um, I don't want to leave this tile because that would leave us open to other areas here. You guys can come through here. Yeah, we definitely need to get the American support. I'm not sure if we can actually win this without American support. Maybe we need to retreat, maybe? Oh, you're just going to die. You're just going to straight up die. That sucks. Oh, they're gonna die. Just take the guns and equipment, anyways. Uh, yeah, this is this is this is not good. Yeah, I don't like this. It's too easy to win as Indonesia normally, but this stuff. Oh boy. How are you not winning here? They literally have no supplies going in. Uh, you guys just hang out here though. That's good. Oh, they left the port. Good. Nice. We'll we'll definitely get those guys done. Uh, every soldier that we have, take as much, as many things as you possibly can. Can you move? Come on, guys, move. What are you, what are you doing for? Move. I know they literally don't even have a navy, so... Ah, never mind, it's Japanese. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. I need you guys definitely to come over here. Oh, boy, this is not going to be easy. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. All right, so do we beat them up? Okay, we have a little victory here. That's nice. Very nice to see. Please do not lose the, the tile here. Please, 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 please. Hope these guys move out of here. We could really use them to move and leave us alone. Mm, we did get cut off here, which really sucks. Yeah, I'm not sure we're going to be able to win this. Yeah, no. Keep them in place for now. They've already gone down that way, so you guys hang out for now. Hold. You honestly should be able to win. I know you guys are garbage, but still. Could we win here, maybe? 3v1. There you go. If you can destroy that division, that'd be pretty nice. Crud. Oh, uh, I mean, this is really almost impossible. Holy crud. They don't have a port down here, so... You should be able to win there. If not, well, we'll see. There you go. 
Yeah, no, you're not allowed to lose. There you go. Okay, how are you losing? I don't care if they're militia or not. You should not be losing this. Oh man, this sucks so much. The OFM. The Americans, and by extension, the rest of the OFN are no friends of Japan, their enemy in the last world war. Even so, many doubt that they'll involve themselves in another conflict so soon after South Africa, a terrible bloody conflict that claimed the lives of so many of their sons. But the American spirit is anything but peace, loving, and serene. And with a few carefully chosen words like freedom, liberty, and rich Indonesian oil fields, it'll prove trivial to convince the Yankees to poke their noses where they don't belong. Which is a good thing. Keep moving, boys. We're going to need your help. As How did they kill this division off? You literally have no supplies down here, and yet you could still win. No. Go kill yourself. Seriously, go kill yourself. Hey, we can't win. Okay, yeah, um, this might be literally impossible. We literally cannot beat any of these enemy divisions because of our national spirits, which include this one, uh, disorganized forces, which is god awful for us, as well as critical supply shortage. So, yeah, I don't think we can win this one. Mm, I'm already calling it. Look at this. They just they just blow our soldiers down. I I do not like this. The Pacific Letter. Uh, Hata and two others advised to sat around a table. Hours had passed since the sun had set and the orange glow of lamps lit the room. Their focus was on a single typewriter, which was operated by Hata. How does to our brothers in liberty sound? One of the advisors asked. Good, it's definitely something the Americans will eat up, replied the other, nodding slightly. Hata rubbed his chin. I think we still need to be more forward. They'll hardly help us if... If what we're saying is obscured by a bombastic rhetoric, what do we refer to the government as Uncle Sam? That's something the Americans do, right? Suggested by first advisor. That's the dumbest thing you've ever said, snipped the second. At least I'm suggesting ideas. I don't see you doing anything besides. While well, they argued how his fingers dance across the keys, the faint clicks and clacks coax the letter out of the mind's womb. What do you two think? asked Hata as he passed his advisors the draft, interrupting the argument. It's fine, not as descriptive as, as, as I would have been, but it gets a point across, this says the second. The first snatched it out of his hands and quickly skimmed it. There aren't hardly enough illusions to the American Revolution. How are you supposed to get the Yanks to help us if we don't make them feel good about themselves? Hata took the paper back and stood up, stretching his back after a long day of writing. You two can spend the night writing something better if you want, but I'm going to bed. With that, Hata made his way through the building, anticipating the comfort of his bed. The voices of two advisors echoed behind him. A debate concerning whether or not including apology for Pearl Harbor was in full swing. <laughs> Dear Uncle Sam, that's kind of funny. And then we did that one, so we got to get some more like defense and stuff. So, uh, struggle hot. You're going to do that one immediately. If, if the army, if it can be called such, is organized and inexperienced, a thousand of our rebels do not equal even one collaborator soldier. Yet, yeah, like shapeless infinite metal, we may yet forge our forces into a sort of liberation. New plans will be drawn up, regiments organized, and strategies developed. From plowed chairs to swords, our people will progress. Our wide-eyed sons will find purpose in the field of battle. In the crucible of necessary righteous war, our grand army will arise. Good old Yanks. Hata and his two insuppressible advisors met again at their informally designated meeting table. Do you have it? The first advisor practically squealed. Oh goodness, please tell me you have it, added the second. Hata withdrew an envelope from his suit pocket. This came in the morning, straight from Washington, figuratively speaking. I haven't read it yet, Hata paused. I'm not sure why I want to. If you won't read it, I will, spluttered the first advisor. In one fluid motion, he swiped the envelope, opened it, and skimmed the letter. After a moment of reading, he started to laugh. He laughed maniacally, dropping the letter to the ground. His eyes filled with tears, and he cupped his face in his palms. Well, asked the second advisor, what did they say? But his colleague, who was now wheezing, was incapable of giving a response. Darn it, I'll read it myself, he declared. He picked up the letter off of the floor and read it, muttering the words to himself. Unlike his companion, he read the entire message before looking up. He was dead silent. Hato was impatient now. What did they say? Are the Americans going to help? The second advisor looked at him blankly. His forehead creased in confusion. Did you really think they would be ba they would back down, sir? Asked the first advisor, finally regaining his breath. You need more faith. Yes, sir, they're coming, stated the second advisor in a low, quiet voice. The Yanks are coming. Breaking his professional composure, Hato yelled at the top of his lungs. Send the word over there. Good. But I I don't think we, we can actually win this without the Americans doing something for us. So, Ah, oh, the burning jungle. But they're doing something. This is good. This is good. Hopefully they're going to send us volunteers because um, we're losing. We're losing actually really badly right now. So badly that they actually overran our divisions down here and killed them off. Yeah, I don't think we're supposed to be able to win. If anything, we just got encircled. So, yeah. This is really not good. I don't think... I really just don't think we can win this one. I really don't think we can. Look at this. This is stupid. This is beyond stupid. They don't have supplies. Yet, they can still continue to win here. Alright, well, I'm, we're done. Uh, I'm done with that then. This is stupid. This is beyond stupid. Like, I get that we're, we're rebels and such, but... Alright, you know what, retreat. We're gonna lose it anyways. We're gonna lose it. Yep. Get back up there. Well, we've lost. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is so stupid. This is incredibly stupid. Why do we start off so incredibly weak? We can't even win 2v1. We can't even win 2v1. Oh my goodness, yep. Uh, at this point, we're just gonna wait till the Americans show up. I, we literally can't do jack squat, so... 
Just kind of hang out. There's nothing we can do unless the Americans help us out. Which I think is stupid. Uh, why? Come on, Americans, help us out. What, what is this? It says conflicts end, but utilize our cells? Um, invest funds? Sure, why not? Come on, America. Oh my god, come on. I mean, I don't know. This is this is stupid. You should be able to defeat these guys easily, right? Can we at least do something? Wow, look at that money. That's not very good. We are screwed. We are screwed. We are screwed. Okay, America. Send divisions. You haven't sent anybody or anything. Work the back channels? Yeah. I don't, I don't think so. I really don't think so. I need them to send warriors over. Or just people over. You know what? I think I'm just going to manually do it for themselves. Because even on defense, we still can't win here, apparently. We barely can win. Yeah, I think I've got, I've got to make sure that they actually send us soldiers. First contact. Hato ran his fingers across the typewriter. It was a hefty, metal, and expensive. It was also almost out of ink. The guilty discarded papers covered his desk, mocking him with their pointless, wasteful existence. So many words, so much ink, so much time. Only to be thrown out and left unread. Hato sighed and began yet another composition to the... <clears throat> Hato crumpled up the paper and threw it aside before beginning again. This is not the time for conflict. When Indonesia is free, we can debate. When there is peace, we can afford a campaign and argue and compete. When tyranny lies defeated and democracy rules, the people will judge the validity of our beliefs. For now, we must cooperate or none of our many visions of the future can or will come to pass. Why do we fight each other when a common enemy lies before us, no matter the extent or deficit of my pl my piety or class consciousness? Sukarno acts to destroy our movement and all we protect. They're brothers, I implore you, turn your weapons against Sukarno and leave your comrades be. When Sukarno is defeated, the people will decide Indonesia's path. Hato reread his work and looked at the clock in his office. He ripped his forehead. It would have to do. Promises look good on paper. We cannot let it go to waste. We're political power. This presents us with an opportunity to secure a committed anti sukarno alliance with Islamists and Communists. I wish we do this one. So ours is not the only organization that opposes Sukarno. Various cells, radical groups, and volunteer organizations can exist in Indonesia, some of which align more with their goals than others. Ideological purities hardly are worth our most pressing issue, however. All of our groups resist Sukarno and his military dictatorship. All of them would be a great boon to the revolution. All of them would certainly be destroyed if we did not fight as one. <clears throat> And which will probably go ahead and do some emphasize anti Sukarno unity. We all hate Sukarno. He's too conservative or too liberal. He is too secular or too religious. He's a Japanese puppet or simply a misguided nationalist. He's an enemy of the people or an enemy of free trade. Sukarno is a great many things to a great many people, and most of them are negative in some way. Whatever the reasons, we all hate Sukarno, and there's no reason to go into specifics. Cool, so off screen, I made sure that America did give us some like help and stuff, but even then, like, it's not very much. <laughs> um, you can see this, this is good and all, but uh, here are the losses 61,000 versus less than 30,000, so. I mean, I, we actually were able to break over to Denpasar, so we get actually some uh, good stuff here. So, not too bad, but hey, as long as they're wasting themselves on our line. And I might have just told some of the, the American divisions to go beat some people up, but honestly, you can't really... It, I don't. Maybe it's possible. I'm sure someone's done it before, maybe. But it's, it's not easy. This is just really not easy to do. Like, holy cow. Like, oh man. Uh, spending, spend, 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 spend. It doesn't matter how much we spend, just, just get better. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and off screen, did, I, did we do this one? I don't know, I can't remember. Strike Hot. Uh, if you want to read the bot, let's go right ahead. I can't remember if we did or not. We might go with Rijadi's Regi strategy, but yeah. Without American, like, strong American intervention. Oh, they, they just overran somebody. Nice. Uh, yeah, this is pretty much impossible. Just because you just don't have enough strength. And the national spirits really do hurt us. Like we saw earlier. Uh, that's not terrible, but critical supply shortage, less attack. It's not much, but still. Oh, and American back channels. Okay, we get more political power and daily command for our gain, which is okay. We still have disorganized forces, so it is what it is. And I'm glad they're actually attacking us. That's actually kind of nice. Yes, keep it up. Oh, and... Sus suspend these. Oh, I have no guns. That's good. Very good. Plenty of manpower. I mean, we should have enough manpower for now. I'll have to wait and see, though. Um, yet, somehow, they can still win. Please don't let them win. Oh, looks like we got some guys up there. Very good, very good. At least they have attacked enough times to the point where... I don't think they have enough supplies yet, so... At least that's good, hopefully for now. Then again, our guys don't have a lot of supplies either. Um, I'm not sure what happened to the divisions over here, but... You should be able to win. Okay, with our infantry divisions... Oh, what, what, what are these? This template is what? 18, 18 combo with, and they still cannot win. We still don't have another general, which sucks, but... Yeah, our divisions are just god-awful. Like, I'm sure the Indonesian divisions aren't that good, but still. Like, we're pretty much exactly the same, and yet we still cannot win? Makes no sense to me. Makes no sense. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we can't even move these guys around because we. Uh, well, I guess technically we could, but uh, it's not really worth it. Uh, let the Americans do whatever the Americans are going to do, I guess. Uh, you guys go up there, maybe. Go up there, take all this stuff back. That'd be nice. You guys get down here. And, okay, so the American division... I forced America to give us divisions just to help us out. But they're just sitting there. Like, what are you doing, American divisions? Like, why are you just sitting there? <laughs> oh, never mind. We're actually doing something. Good. Good. Get in there so you can't do anything. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Faster than the trucks. Come on, you god dang it. The speech. I regard the silver microphone with distrust. It was too removed from reality. How could such an artificial bauble carry one's voice across the world with any degree of authenticity? I looked at the second sound technician. He flashed a thumbs up, signaling that he was on air. Hot to turn down to the, to the alien metal microphone and began to speak. We face a common enemy, all of us. Sicarno and his illegitimate, tyrannical regime threatens the peace and security of Muslims, communists, and even liberals. Sicarno will not stop until all of us, our families, and our hopes are dead and buried. I'm aware that even in the face of overwhelming opposition, we bicker and argue with ourselves. We weaken our cause with petty spats and childish disputes. If you truly believe, truly believe in a free Indonesia, if you hope for a free Indonesia, if you would die for a free Indonesia, then you must put away your differences. For in a truly free Indonesia, there will be no need for conflict. Years of tyranny and dictatorship have blinded us to what could be, what will be. A better Indonesia is possible, a free democratic Indonesia where every citizen has a voice and the people rule is possible. I call on every proud Indonesian. There are no communists, no Islamists, no liberals. Only the nation we share in the bright future are waiting for us. All we must do is fight for it. As evil and darkness fled into the world, hope still remained. It's only hope that remains because I had to manually make sure and go in and make sure America gave us some of their divisions and maybe some air support, but I think they actually turned that away. Uh, the revolution is a complexity, an amalgamation of the political orthodoxy and idealism, a grotesque theory of diverse factions unified by a tearing thread pull taut with tension. At any given moment, the structure weakens or threatens to collapse on collapse on itself, undoing years of work and ushering in another age of tyranny. We must stand together and find strength in our patrick and heterogeneity. The future of Indonesia demands it. Good. And I hate this. I, I, I kind of really, really dislike this to a degree because this it's just starting to piss me off, but not her day. Like an off tone or a screech of chalk, how to speech caught like fish hooks in people's minds. It was an annoying, unscratchable itch. Its very existence was uncomfortable. It seemed to be a different kind of wrong to each person. The communists were except that Hada, the rationary fool, thought democracy was anything other than the dictatorship of capital. The Islamists were furious that Hada neglected to mention Allah even once. Everyone in between interpreted the naive call for unity as weak appeasement. The leaders of the faction capitalized on the controversy. Recordings of the speech have been torn apart and edited for propaganda. The revolution has become even more divided than before. Hada has reportedly locked himself away in his office, making phone calls after phone call in an attempt to mitigate the damage. Half the message is the interpretation, friction, and the wheels of power. Liberty and nation are powerful, intense concepts that motivate greatness and impossibilities. The revolution is proof of that. Our victory is a proof of the inevitability of a free Indonesia. The revolution is not without struggle, however. Even the strongest bonds of fraternity and revolt cannot mend the greatest divide known to men, ideology. Hatta's famous green-red alliance between Islamic fundamentalists and communists is tearing at the seams, dividing the revolution in two. Initial necessity promoting... Uh, cooperation between the two factions with the large differences being conveniently ignored. With a revolution in full swing, however, and a new status quo established, opposing ideas and beliefs butt heads openly, weakening morale and turning comrades one against one another. Every day the divide grows and tensions escalate. Soldiers establish informal gangs along political lines while their officers strike secret deals. Civilians keep their families close and the guns closer, out of fear of their neighbors rather than Sakano's army. The situation is untenable, but what is to be done? I'm not sure what they expect to happen. Me too. Especially if the American divisions just barely do anything. Like, they're not even moving. Oh, oh well, I guess we can't do that one then. I guess we failed, so an uneasy choice. So we have to choose either one, the Reds or these guys. Raids and militias. We're gonna get their army. Ramusha question. Set supply lines. Like help from India descend in the sphere. Manpower is not bad. Support equipment, that's okay. We don't need blueprints for now. So all that time was a waste. Uh, strategy, stay on the offensive, more speed. Or more max entrenchment, which could be pretty good for us. Bolster our forces. One year draft, recruitable population factor goes up. This organized forces goes away. Let's go bolster our forces. A great many young idealistic men with fire in their hearts are ready and able to fight. An even greater number of bitter cynics with hunger in their bellies are receptive to the idea. We would have thousands of recruits every week if we only knew where to sign up. A new propaganda and outreach campaign will ensure that every able-bodied man knows where to volunteer and those that, and those that don't can be easily drafted. Come on, American divisions. Do something. You're about to get encircled. <laughs> I really don't have to manually like, control, control them off screen to get things done here. I really don't want to do that. Oh. Okay, very cool, very cool. Um, anything else here? Please. This this pisses me off. This pisses me off to no end. How? How? How are you losing? It's 1v1. How? 
It's 1v1. You are on the attack. They have no other strength there. I swear to God, like... Free Indonesia sucks. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. How are you losing? I know these guys suck, and I know you have two infantry divisions, but they're literally out of supply. Ah, oh, they have a division here too. You hold then. Oh my gosh. How are you losing to these guys? They literally have no supply here. Ah, oh, get up there if you can. Um, please tell me you can win there at least, or something. Are you kidding me, America? Are you kidding me? Yeah, this, you can't win this. It's impossible to win this by yourself. Like, you really do need to call an American up because you're not, it's probably like South Africa where you just can't win. Ooh, we got encircled here. So, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna make sure that we can do relatively okay and make sure that the American divisions who actually wanna help us out actually do something here. A war of words. Uh, let's take a look at that one before they do anything else. Yeah, that means nothing. If you don't move your divisions, America. So, I'll see you when things are a little better for our situation. Alright, everyone. So, uh, a couple things that we've done on screen, including the focuses, integrate the militias. Uh, as it stands, the Free Indonesia Army is a collection of disparate militia bands who act individually with a surprising degree of cooperation. Well, it's certainly a progressive, idealistic, and revolutionary way to run a military, as ultimately doomed to miscommunication, conflict, and ineffectiveness. The active rebel militia groups that align with the wider movement will be integrated into the military. The leadership and composition will be hardly changed, but their independence will be appropriately blunted, as well as we're doing Sutomo's plan. Field Marshal Sutomo has proposed a general plan to focus on the offensive, using unconventional tactics, civilian support, and a general psychology of aggressive advancement. He believes the Free Indonesia Army will be able to handle defeat the comparatively traditional and rigid officers of Sukarno. The revolution will be fought unlike any war before. And we shall next up do uh, speed. Reconnaissance is not bad. Uh, let's do free Indonesian insurgents. The greatest enemy's greatest tools are cities, factories, and people. It is also the greatest is weakness. Infiltrators and spies will slip across the front lines. Once in enemy territory, they will spread dissent, steal military secrets, and sabotage production. They will serve in the shadows to protect, to protect the light. So, I normally don't like doing this and forcing basically America to do basically all the work for us because I just made them just beeline to Jakarta and just beeline over here, which I'm not sure where the other division went. Oh, it's, it's just literally just standing there. Okay, then. Uh, but honestly, like, I'd love to see if anyone could do this, like, for real, like, 100% legitly, just because it, it's just, you can't win. I, I just do not think you can win if you, uh, if you just try to play normally. I just don't think it's possible. Um, Free Indonesia is just way too weak, and earlier, I mean, I don't know what was going on, but America literally just sitting on its hands and just doing nothing. So, if America's not going to do anything, well, we've got to do it ourselves then. So, that's basically what the, my, I came to the conclusion too. So, and I'd rather not lose in a video where it's just dedicated to the free Indonesians. But, other than that, I mean, we've pretty much done everything else ourselves. But, yeah. With, if America does not refuses to help out, then you're, you're screwed. I'm 100% sure you are just completely screwed. And if we waited that much longer, regular Indonesia could have easily just taken us out. It, it would have been pretty, pretty much over at that point. So... I hate to do it like that, but I saw no other option. We were given no other option. We had to do what we had to. Oh, I see where you're going. Go die now. And you guys got cut off because why not? Uh, and we're probably not going to be able to win here because our divisions are just... Look at that. This is exactly why I had to do what I had to do. Because these divisions, 18 combat with, not bad. 18 combat with, I'm sure, yeah. And of course the militia is not very good, but... Versus a single half strength motorized division. Look, either win or die. I mean, I'm, I, at this point, I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of having just lose their divisions. That they can't do anything. Win or die, so. Head on in. You can't win. See, 1v1. We can't do jack squat. And of course, for research, we. We had basically, we were reset to basically the beginning. We have nothing done for land auction, even though I think when I play it's regular in Indonesia, which is this, from which this save is from, uh, we still don't have anything either, so. Look at that. Look at how weak we are. Yeah, I guess, I, I know we don't have a general, but even then, having a general against, they have skill one level, is not that much better. But, let's continue to do all out disruption. The distinction between civilian and soldiers best left to academics and intellectuals who exalt the extra contradictory idea of human warfare, or humane warfare. In truth, every revolutionary citizen of Indonesia is an asset that we must exploit to the utmost. Secret societies, militias, and gangs will serve the revolution beyond the front, har harassing soldiers, sabotaging factories, and encouraging defection and dissent. The people will lead the revolution. And I don't think we have air support at all, do we? Yeah, it says it's green, but as you can see, we have no planes here, so yeah. 
And I'm sure these guys won't be able to win. Because why would they be able to? Yeah, why would they? So that sh might be enough to make them capitulate. Or it might not. Or it might just not be enough. Uh, where's the next capital? Because there's so such a, it's such a mess down here. Oh my goodness. I hate fighting across all these different fronts. There we go. And you guys come down there. Do something like that. There you go. Uh, you guys can head. No, go that way. Why do you want to go down the, the, the more difficult path, man? Uh, sure, you invest in construction. Why not? All right. And the Black League's unifies. Oh, ominous. Cool. Can we defeat that division? Probably not. Probably not. Look how much we're struggling just to destroy one enemy division that's at half strength. Yeah, I get our divisions aren't at full strength, but my gosh. Oof. Learn from the veterans. Train the recruits. Um, basic training. Minimal training. Basic training. That actually, even though it says minus 5% here, it's actually plus 5% because we're so low already. It's a great monumental task to convert farm boys and the destitute into a professional army. Hundreds of new military camps will house the recruits. Thousands of officers and specialists will train them in the art of war. Green factories of tarp, sweat, and ordnance will grind the populace into refined revolutionaries. The strength of our men so and soldiers will overcome any obstacle. Which, of course, would be a good thing. Uh, cut them off here. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it with the AI here. LBJ, you really suck right now. Yeah, like, seriously, what are you doing? I had to manually force them to give us volunteers and basically use them ourselves. Look at this. How are you not winning yet? For reals? <laughs> is, this, is this not core territory? This, uh, there's no way I can explain this. I mean, my gosh. This is a lot more frustrating than I thought it would be. I'll be honest. I thought it'd be a little bit easier, but obviously it's not, so. How did you get circled? Um, where's your capital? Ah, oh, it's over there. Okay, that's fine. We should be able to get there, but you know, never rely on the AI. That is those. That is some words to live by in Hoi Four. Those are definitely. What happened to our general? Wait. Oh, I mean, you can't. We can't see him. So basically, Mr. Blanky. Mr. Blanky. Now that should be enough. We've lost hundred thousand. We cut off that many, mostly because I forced the Americans to help us out, train the recruits, and. Structure the blend. Uh, learn from the veterans. The revolution is not Indonesia's first war. The revolution against the Dutch imperialists and spawned a great many veterans. Scarred, shadowed men with sharp memories and grim futures heard their nation's call as clear as it was so many years ago. These patriots take positions in officer academies and boot camps and even went on the front lines all to the fight for, the, for their home a second time. Now that should be more than enough to, to take these guys out. Den Passer? Did anybody think they have that? Oh, this is incredibly sad. This is so incredibly sad. We actually have Sutomo here. He's leading. He's doing a good job, but not really because he can't beat up these people. Force it. Either you guys die or they die. Support weapons would be nice, though. More land on attack. Even then, we can't win. Go figure. Yeah, there's really no point in ever using militia divisions then. They're just so ungodly weak. And structure the blunt. The free Indonesian army is a desperate complex mixture. Old veterans fight along young enlistees. Militias with unique symbology and group culture debate strategy with identical uniform men. And Indonesians from every conceivable military background work together towards a common goal. Someone look at our liberating force and call it chaos. Perhaps a little chaos is necessary to free Indonesia. Um, I really don't understand why they're not capitulating. You guys can't win there, can you? Probably not, no. You guys suck. Uh, so, yeah. Wow, good job, guys. You got encircled like a bunch of dummies that you are. Why? Why do you want to get encircled, man? Why? Okay, the American Division's moved immediately. Oh, okay, now they're doing stuff. Okay, yeah, move on. Come on, America. Do stuff, do stuff. Please, for the love of God. Okay, so there we go. Yeah, only with American help you can win this one. So, we should probably get an event saying we won. All thanks to the help of me manually forcing the Americans to help us out earlier off screen. 
And actually, I didn't. I just told him to move directions. I didn't do anything with him except just told him to move into territories. So, um, I don't think we're supposed to win, but structure of the blend is kind of nice. Oh, me focus. Ah, victory in the Civil War. Indonesia was at peace. The last holdouts splendored in soft rain. The remaining generals formulated hopeless counterattacks, and the final desperate pleas for a negotiated settlement were made, but Indonesia was at peace. The war like a gruesome butcher's knife divided the nation. Brother fought brother. Father killed son. Friend turned on friend. It was a battle of armies as much as personalities. No one knew the sad reality better than Hatta. He'd hoped to save Sukarno. He couldn't and wouldn't pardon his crimes, but he could at least stay for his execution. For all his faults, his terrible, bloody faults, he was still his friend. He was still the man who had built Indonesia. He had still done what he thought was right. He was still bung. The PKI militias, drunk on their violent mob justice, didn't give them the chance. They didn't see bung. They saw a tyrant, reduced his identity to his crimes, and strung him up accordingly. Sukarno was gone. Indonesia, though, remained. As Hatta prepared to greet the crowds to meet with the radical leaders of the parallel revolutions to build a new, different Indonesia, he couldn't help but imagine Sukarno standing beside him, advising him, joking with him, even arguing with him. As Hatta stepped, uncertain into the future, Sukarno's phantom followed him like a shadow, coloring the whole of Indonesia's perfect grave for many years to come. We bleed and die as blind men, seeing that there is nothing to fight for and laugh. And I'm really, uh, like, 99% sure that free Indonesia is not supposed to win at all. They are probably, probably supposed to lose. Because the way that it was set up here, which was exactly how it's supposed to be set up, incredibly difficult. And I basically had to manually make control American soldiers to make sure that we won. But hey, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know in the comments. Have you actually tried to win the Civil Wars free in Indonesia? And let me know your thoughts on what it was like for you. But regardless, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in another video.